What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top 10 player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do a fixed game on Fridays. I do the podcast waiting on your best behavior on Wednesdays and every other day I do whatever I feel like. Today, we are playing a six player progressive game on Red Sands Fort. One of my favorite maps. So, haven't played this, haven't shot a Red Sands video in a while. I'm in the second position. We have six humans, it looks like. Everyone readied up to the game. Cool. Three Iranians, that's unusual. Sure hope they don't decide to work together. But we shall see. Um, okay, so in the first list we have Gaylord Gota flying the flag of the United States of America. With 14 hours, uh, played 7 wins and 26 losses, and they look like they are taking a piece of the easternmost continent, Gun Tower East. Where am I and where am I going to want to go? Uh, looks like I can make a play for here or for here, and I'm going to have to pick one now because I'm in the second position. This is uh, my alt account, currently uh, ranked middle 1,000, 65 hours with 90 wins and 79 losses. Do I want to be here or do I want to be there? Or do I want to be here? Let's start there. Be in three positions for now, and we'll see how it goes. So I take a piece of Gun Tower West, and that's what we will work. That's what we will be working with. So I'm in four positions: one, two, three, and four, essentially. Settings are uh, progressive card, 60 second turns, balance blitz dice, no alliance, no blizzard, no fog. In the third position, Marsha Chumley from Iran. 13 hours played with four wins and 18 losses. The green player. Let's see what green does. Okay. Green decides to pull out of the top corner from Gun Tower North. Take a quick look at how the continents are worth. Gun Tower North worth 5, Gun Tower East worth 5, Gun Tower Coast worth 5, Gun Tower West worth 4, Maintenance worth 4, RT is worth plus 3. Uh, Gun Tower Main worth plus 6, the Gangway, which is these four territories around the center, worth 5, and the Middle Center Tower worth plus 7. In the fourth is Roof Shelton Kybe from an unspecified location, 4 hours played with 1 win and 7 losses. Sure would be nice if these players would play their turns. Has Blue bought it out already? <sighs> bought? No! They're just taking forever. Okay. Roll a six on three, have three remaining. Okay, so I've lost that position. In the fourth is with Annika Asker from Iran. With 17 hours played, 3 wins and 33 losses. Let's see what yellow does. When I see three players in the same game flying the same flag, my intuition uh, tells me that something fishy might be going on, but I do want to give everyone the benefit of the doubt. And let's see if there's any obvious collusion. Yellow player makes a move for the center and pisses away two troops, rolling a three on three. That looks like something someone who has played 17 hours would do. In the final position, we have Lemma Arima. Oh, also pisses away a two on one? Wins it. Lemma Arima from Iran, 13 hours played with six wins and 16 losses. All three of these Iranian players. Um, have similar bad new records so far 
I can't accuse anyone of colluding. I can definitely accuse them all of playing glacially slowly. So we're going to make some really boring, really chilled out TV today. What do you guys think? And for a relaxing game? Red Sands Fort. Okay. I lose a three stack there, it seems to me fair is fair. The blue loses their three stack there, and then I'll have a road in. Only problem with that is I will only be in two positions, so I lose that, but still looks like it makes the most sense. Moving on to the second turn, the orange player is going to cut out of maintenance. I'm going to lose that single, I betcha. And then they'll be one territory away from finishing. Putting in three troops. Yeah, might as well remove blue from this position. Quid pro quo. I lose a three stack. You lose a three stack. Okay, green gave me a well played for that move because they want this continent, I see. They can have it. That's how I try to negotiate with alliances off. Don't quite take it right away. I'm in position to take my continent next turn. Hopefully it all works out for the old Beatman. Oh my god, please play. This guy's rolling four on one, good. Get the four out of there. Not setting himself up to take the continent, okay. Yellow rolls a five on three and loses. That's why you don't roll five on threes. They get the seven on two and win. Set themselves up to take the center tower next turn. It's the most valuable continent on the board, but it's not necessarily where you want to be in terms of positioning. Probably should have turned blizzards on. I do like these settings with blizzards. Okay, Magenta looks like they're going for Gun Tower Coast. I'm gonna add the six stack to this, yeah? Yeah, that's a pretty strong claim for Gun Tower Coast. Still a couple turns away from taking it though. No, they wanna move their stack out? What do they wanna do? Alright, Orange finally takes a continent, so we have Gaylord Gota taking maintenance. Guarding it from these two territories. Blue would have the choice to break or try and finish theirs, but they're at least two turns away from finishing their own continent, only putting in three a turn. You really don't want to roll four on twos unless you have to, and even then he would only be able to get one of the two. Yep, yeah, Orange guards it properly.
and runs his entire clock out. Uh-huh. Is this ever tedious? Let's see if Green wants to be friends. I bet you they break me. If green goes pop, pop, we can have an undefended border here. Let's see if they know how to be a good neighbor. Give him a thanks. They add troops there, I have to counter. They leave their front open. Okay. So Green and I are now allies, as best as I can tell. I'm going to run that through as long as I can. Blue breaks. Wow, aggressively breaks orange. Orange will be left with next to nothing. On my next turn, my move is very simple. I put all my troops here and I push out one, leaving this front undefended, but also threatening to move in and break green if they decide to fuck me. That's guarding a continent by threat. Okay, yellow's going to finish the middle. Magenta is going to work on coast. Yep, still two turns away from taking coast. I don't really want to lose that position. But that's the way that cookie crumbled. Okay, so I have an exterior position here. How much do I want to invest to keep it alive? Or do I put troops in this far corner? So we move on to the fourth turn. Orange is split in a bunch of different territories. I still have 20 troops, though. I'm only at 17. A lot of their troops seem lined up for destruction. Which way does orange move? They move into here. Okay. Hmm. Looks like Orange is lining himself up to be natural enemies with blue. My suspicion is that green's not going to break yellow, yellow's not going to break green. He puts a bunch of troops interior to themselves. That is a strange play. Okay, their only line of attack is out this way. They're going to roll three on two? You can't do that. They were hoping these connected. They don't. You have to go this way now. No, don't roll a three on two. You're going to lose. Odds of three on two are real bad. Somehow, they got lucky. Okay, green gets their card, moves the seven that way, or moves the eight stack. Ah, all right. You want me to guard, I can guard. But also, yellow is surrounded. So you might want to engineer a scenario where yellow is the fish. I'm going to be putting in plus seven, though, for holding the center. And that's going to catch them right back up. Looks like orange is a better fish. So what's orange looking like? Orange is going to be stuck in this position, not holding a continent. Okay. Yellow gets 10. Do they just pop my stack? 
That would be bad. I have an idea. I think this is a perfect time to skip a card. There are no bots yet in this game. I hold a continent. I can back off this stack, guard up with a 7, and keep this position somewhat alive, or there maybe. Which one? Yeah. Magenta doesn't get their final take. So they roll a 3 on 2. this. Okay, orange is only here. I'm going to pull back. not be forced to trade in second. Instead of getting the plus six, I'll get the 15. Okay, green breaks me. Rolls a 10 on six. Rolls an 11 on six. No, they have decided not to break me. Cool. But they're not going to break yellow either. Okay. If this is collabing, it's some very odd collabing. Uh, I kind of wanted to catch them in the act, though, so that's why I'm shooting this video. I didn't boot them. Here's where I get broken. No. Shocking. Okay. The tension in this game is very high. Or I'm just going to put in... Oh, Magenta puts in first. Okay, so Orange going to put in the six. They're going to knock Blue out of their corner. Blue's going to be in a single position. Everyone's pretty much going to be in a single position. Blue's going to be down here. Orange is going to be over here. Magenta's going to be here. Yellow's going to be in the middle. Green's going to be up there. I have this second position still. I'm going to try and make sure it exists for as long as possible. <sighs> well, let's see. Let's see, let's see. How can I win a game through what, what might be a three-player collaboration? You guys think I have it in me? Okay. Orange gets the six. Puts here, knocks out 
uh, four, five, six of blue. Blue will be down here. Knockout green. Maybe break. I don't know. Yeah, orange in their corner now. Yeah, this is all very interesting. I did that is I, I do still want a line to kill orange but I also want to match last green's gonna match in now probably get broken I also wanted to be in two positions Green's still happy to let me hold my continent. Sure. Blue gets the 10. Gotta be able to take that single out. Yeah, and then what? Guard from two positions? That's pretty good. They will have the best continent because it'll be worth uh, plus seven of those two continents, and it's defensible from two positions. So blue is in a really good position now. still on the back foot with 20 troops, but they will at least get their bonus from Gun Tyrese unless Magenta breaks them. Let's see if Magenta breaks them. I'm amazed at how stable these borders are. I expected people to be breaking other people's continents a lot more readily, which hasn't happened. But the board can only remain this stable for so long. Yeah, so now Orange has 28 troops for holding their continent. Which direction do they go? They go into Magenta, right? Or they go into my 9 stack, but I think Magenta is just a, the, the road of slightly less resistance. No, they pop the 9 stack. Oh, that's too bad. Too bad. Yeah, well, shouldn't have done that, right? All right, green gets the plus 20. Finally, time to take me out of this corner. Man, I can't win this game. I needed that exterior position. Someone should kill orange. I don't understand why green is still letting me have this continent. <laughs> if orange doesn't have a match on four, I can maybe eat them. Depending on if they open me. Okay, blue moves here.
Hmm. Yeah, this person likes to leave big armies locked inside of himself and not break borders. I'm very confident that magenta, yellow, and green are the same player. play at the same speed, they seem to do the same things. Okay, let's see orange match on four and take me out of that section. Did orange quit? No. Okay, orange gets the match, 25 coming in. Time now. I'm gonna knock my five stack out. Okay, so they leave a bunch of troops buried. want is for this position to continue to exist. I can't believe green hasn't broken me yet. It's still shocking. Okay. Blue's going to break magenta. Can they eat magenta and take their cards? I got the match on 4 or 35. Yellow put the match in. Why would he put his stack inside of himself? This is all so confusing. This gameplay makes no sense. But, 
Yellow is holding. Five cards. Too big to get eaten. Match point is now 40. What can I do with 40? Try and kill Orange, I guess. It's a bit close, a bit too close for comfort. Okay, maybe Orange opens me and then connects, holding three cards. Let's see what Orange does, because that might make them easier for me to kill. The best thing Orange could do would be not to connect me. because I will eat them for their three cards at this point, if I can. But forcing me to split to the 15 and the 12, also to get a 3 and 4, I can't actually do it at this point. Because I buried my own stack. Looks like Orange is going to run their clock out too. This is a tedious, tedious waiting game that people are making me play. Did they bought out? Yeah. And we bought cool. Okay. That makes it easier. Let's try it, guys. Let's first of all see what we get. Okay, I can do the split. So 30 troops. How do I kill? If I have 10. It's too damn close. But I'm going to play with the expectation that Orange doesn't have a match on three. I guess if they do, I can do that. And then have my position not be sunk. If they don't have a match on three, I can eat them. If they do, it's no. There's no point for me to do it. I don't understand why green isn't breaking me, but they seem to still be letting me hold this continent. have a bit of a war between magenta and blue that I'm not involved in. Yellow is doing absolutely fuck all. Yellow might take this continent now. Right? They're going to match in there and get something like 50 troops. Yeah. Does yellow go punchy punchy? Take me out of this corner? Wouldn't be all that surprised. Well, you got to move faster than that. Okay, they finally thought it through. 112 stack has to break, yes? Has to. No? I'm shocked. This is totally the same guy. Right? They're all three of them. All three um, green, yellow, and magenta all playing the same way. Orange bot going to hopefully not match in and hopefully take that. And if they do, I can rush in and finish. And then I'll, that'll trigger a match. Hey, I got 69 troops. Did Orange try to reconnect? Or are they still a bot? Oh, they're back. They're back. They get a take, open me, and I can clean them up next turn. Perfect. That couldn't have gone better. Moves his 12 out, maybe? Yeah, that doesn't save you. That doesn't save you. 
says if I'm playing the same guy let's see what he does with exact matching okay so here's my positioning I have four cards I have two continents at either end I have a nine stack guarding matching a nine stack not opening the 43 I have a 50 stack in the middle I expect that green, yellow, and magenta are the same person. And my only other human opponent in this game is blue. So this is the expectation I'm playing to. Reason being is they all fly the flag of Iran, and they're all doing the same thing. They're playing at the same speed, and they're pulling back into their continents and guarding. They're playing this very, very conservative for a progressive game. Um, so... My road to victory, despite the fact that I am outnumbered, if it is if it is indeed true, my road to victory is that I pick them off one by one. Matches in. 69 stack, A. Eh? Okay, they take me out of this spot now. Good. Finally. Um, I got some value out of this continent for far too long. Is he also going to pop me here, right? This is the move. This is the move. Try to card block me. Okay, take my stack. Yep. Cool. This is absolutely a collaboration play. So which is the account that they're trying to grow? Because they all look shitty. Is it magenta? No, they're just three shitty accounts. <laughs> okay, well... How do I win? How do I win despite that? You can't, right? You're fucking totally outnumbered. So right now I'm in a situation where I need to make sure I get cards. Um, or uh, Yellow pop me, so now green's going to take this section, right? These guys need to coordinate on me better. They're moving too slowly. Oh, I see what green's going to do. Green's going to move my, remove my big stack. No, they're going to go down this way. Oh yeah, take the center seat. My... <laughs> My uh, ability to move way faster than this guy might enable me to maybe survive past uh, three, three people teaming. It's possible. 
Here's hoping blue does something. It's a tricky one, right? I'm not I'm not all that high confidence that I'm being teamed on. I'm just suspicious. Now what does yellow do? Yellow retakes their middle position. Or do they remove my big stack? One or the other. They retake their middle position. I love the idea that Magenta is well plating himself. That would be very funny. Does this go? It's going to me. Goes to retake. Everyone's taking continents, huh? Hmm. I need to not offend blue. Blue is my only hope here. Okay. So magenta breaks yellow. Do they continue? No, they're gonna take me out of here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Total, totally. That's what I would do if I was teaming on a person. Suspected collabing opponents have been gutted, but green is still really, really strong. I do have a match on three. This might be my last chance. What's the next match? Blue's going to match, going to get the 70. Magenta's going to get the 75. I can get the 80. What do I do with 80 troops? I have to kill someone. hope this game wraps up because I have an event host in 15 minutes. Okay, Blue put 63 of their bonus interior to themselves. Uh, inaccessible. Magenta's going to match in and get the 80. Yeah, Blue breaks me too? What a shock, man. He doesn't see what I see. No, he doesn't. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I remove Magenta from this position. Um, yellow is going to be holding three cards, and they have about the same number of troops as me. So I'm going to have to eat yellow and take their cards. To get a bit lucky, I think. 
move into the center that connects them that makes it a bit easier yep they connect cool I think I can kill you just barely three cards doesn't put me ahead puts me at net neutral Okay, Magenta puts in. What did they do with the 75? I'm going to get the 80, and then I'm going to kill yellow. 75 goes here. <laughs> this is a fucking hilarious game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure, man. Sure. Magenta breaks yellow. What do they do? They knock me out of here? That's fine. I can still kill yellow easier now. <laughs> I'm going to do a uh, collaboration report. Marsha Chumley. Annika Asker, Lemma Arima. Just a hunch. My spidey sense is tingling. Where's this big stack off in the corner? 48, huh? Don't think I survive. <sighs> Match on four, I hope? Yep. Okay. Green, magenta, and yellow players seem to be the same person. not as confident with this one as I was before, but I feel like in order to help keep this game clean, I'll do my part in report. Interior? Yeah, that's the only move. Or he matches on three. Hopefully he doesn't match on three. I get four cards. That'd be great. Then I get two matches. they don't match in. <sighs> yep. Good. Four cards, huh? 
<laughs> You're fucked. <laughs> I can't believe I'm not just getting smashed. I love this fucking game. So hilarious. Okay, um... If I do that... So now I'm going to line myself up to kill green. Or at least maim him. Actually, that doesn't make any sense because now all things are equal. If they were indeed collabing, we've equalized. Nah, I still want to destroy green. Forcing Blue to run around the map in multiple positions, and I've taken him out of every spot. So he will lack the speed, and I win this game. And if I was indeed getting collabed on, they weren't very good. Maybe I wasn't. Who knows? It was uh, a surgical decision take up players when I did get their cards you know how we play progressive I'm very happy I got this game on video this was an interesting game and I feel like I was able to successfully solve the puzzle given the circumstances I might be reading into it a lot I might be overly suspicious but there is a lot of talk about collaboration in the game and <laughs> If it, if it was a 3v1, that would be hilarious. <laughs> Regardless, I'm very happy I got this one on video. Alright, so I just punch blue as hard as I can. Blue won't be able to come back. to come in second. Good game, my man. And we send it home. Last turn for you, Shelton Kaib. Yup. There you go. Cool. Now you to EH this uh, tournament game. I'm going to post this one on YouTube soon. Let's see what the feedback is about whether or not... Um, people think those three Iranian players were collabing, what do we get? Beginner, 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 beginner. Ah, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed playing it. Um, I hope you found some of it interesting, maybe fun, maybe a little informative. This is how you win in Progressive, despite potentially getting teamed on. Um, yeah, there you go. If you're interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do a fixed game every Fridays. I do the podcast Waiting on Your Best Behavior on Wednesdays. Every other day I do whatever I feel like. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.